here at the MathWorks headquarters in Natick, Massachusetts, where they're hosting the year two fall workshop for EcoCar 2, um, which is really our kind of kickoff for the academic year. We introduce the rules, the framework of the competition, the deliverables and so forth. Um, and also it's a great opportunity for our competition level sponsors to do training and mentoring one-on-one -on -one with our teams. This is the epitome of the college engineering experience, right? We are getting helped out to rebuild a car and turn it into a hybrid electric vehicle, which not every university gets to do. You know, it's a very special program. Uh, this is where the rubber hits the road. This is where uh, everybody's been talking about can't wait to get in and start ripping the cars apart. All of these teams have to work together to create the successful program. That's the shared space between all the circles there. You won't have a successful program unless all three of those teams are working collectively together. That's the, the whole point of multidisciplinary team collaboration. The focus of year two is to take the designs that you developed in year one and implement them into the vehicle. You're moving from the virtual space to the real world. Remember to get your ideas working in your simulation first. Uh, teams that do well will continue to simulate their ideas and controls and use the vehicle as confirmation. You will be tempted to shortcut to the vehicle to try stuff out, but this usually ends up in a much longer design cycle, especially when you break things. Ultimately, the goal is to implement your designs and get to a mule vehicle that runs. The fall workshop's great for new teams as a lot of the new members get to get training on the tools that are available to us that are donated from companies such as the MathWorks. Uh, it's, it's really great to have a, a sort of a out of school environment so you bond with some of your team members and have a little bit of closer interactions with your faculty advisors and also the organizers of the competition. Our great joy is helping train the next generation of engineers and scientists and we're thrilled to be able to do that and to sponsor this. This is one of our premier events we do to support students. Right now I'm training in uh, Simulink right now. I hope to take back to the team and share what I have learned. From the MathWorks perspective we've got two tracks of training. Some uh, fundamentals or basics in MATLAB and Simulink. We also have an advanced track that's uh, for seasoned uh, MATLAB and Simulink users, but some of the more advanced optimization techniques and engine calibration techniques that uh, our software is used for. We're at the MathWorks Intermediate Training, uh, track two, and we're learning how to link Simulink and MATLAB together and different methods for testing and evaluation of plant models and Simulink. The organizers are telling the students about the upcoming events throughout the year. Um, some of those in events include the dynamic uh, competition events that will be performed out at GM's uh, Desert Proving Ground in Yuma, Arizona. General Motors comes to the table with technical information about both the vehicle we've donated and the components we're donating to enable teams to properly integrate them into their competition vehicle. The communications managers are getting together. We're providing some hands-on training. They're learning about media relations skills through media training. They're learning about video development. We are training our business managers in all of the key areas that they'll be responsible for on their project. And in the end, if they've been able to manage their budget accordingly, get the sponsorship that they need, and work with the engineering team members on the timing and delivery of those parts, they'll have a successful vehicle. The sponsor social on the first night of this workshop was really great. It's a time for us to kind of talk to people we've met at the previous workshops and catch up with them and also meet some new sponsors and new uh, members from their community and really get to kind of integrate our team with those sponsors. Within your separate organizations or companies, how do you foster growth? When do you decide a person that works for you is ready to lead his own uh, team or be given the added responsibilities of a project? That's a great question. Who can take on the challenging assignments? And those that can, we're going to look for new opportunities. You're looking for the surprise and delight. They're giving you things you didn't even know you needed or wanted. So there are some employees like that, and it's a sign of leadership. MathWorks is sponsoring the whole thing. Props to them for letting us come out here and let me race for free. I always love that. To bring products into the world, it's people working together. And so an event like Formula One mixes the students together. It gives them the opportunity to meet people from across the country that are studying similar things but in a completely different environment. Well, we've been doing some go-karting here, driving and bumping and rubbing and all that fun stuff. We're having a great time with the team. It's a great bonding experience getting to know them a little better. Some of the guys I hadn't met, so that's always a good thing. 
Without the help of individuals like the MathWorks and progressive companies as them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. They open up their facilities, they bring in our students, and they do all this one-on-one -on -one training with the students to bring them up to speed so they have the tools and the resources necessary to complete the project. My initial reaction to the training and I think the teams is a really kind of a step back to realize what we signed up for, uh, how much work there really is. We got the car. Um, we're disassembling it as we speak. The students back at Colorado State, are uh, they've pulled out part of the interior. We're dropping the engine and the transmission. We should be driving our vehicle before the Christmas break. I think Eco Car 2 is a very, very valuable chance for the students because that is a real car we're working on. And when I finish this, I will be very prepared. I'm going to be a good engineer.